hello everyone this is dr meer shah once again with another video in this video we are going to learn how to solve problem sum in which they was us to find direct code and also the indirect code under the subject international finance so we will be taking up some rules and thereafter you know couple of sums in order to understand how you can identify in which country the code is direct and how to find the indirect code so let us see how to solve them okay now uh, let us learn how to identify in which country the currency which is given is in direct code and once we are able to identify that how to calculate the indirect code okay now very first the formula has been given that the indirect code is equal to 1 upon the direct code which whatever the rate they might have been given you okay now the question you will get is something like this identify the country in which it is a direct code and for each find the indirect code in that country so two things we have to find in this number 1 we have to first identify the currency or the statement transaction that has been given to us or the code which has been given to us that code is direct in which country and once you can identify that then we can easily find the indirect code using the formula now in order to identify in order to identify the direct code it is very simple okay now look at this very carefully how to identify your the basic rule that you have to you have to note down is very simple you just have to say you have to always go with the first rule that okay this is the golden rule foreign currency is expressed in one unit okay meaning whichever code is been given to you okay the code in which okay the one unit is been given to us that is basically a foreign currency and the currency exactly opposite to that will be our domestic currency so now in this question Rupee seventy five point three one is equal to one Great Britain pound or one GBP. Foreign currency is expressed in unit one. So in our case, in our case, GBP you know was expressed in one unit. So this is our foreign currency. So rupees which is given will become our domestic currency, or we can call it as home currency. so in which country it is a direct code that's why i can say that therefore this code which has been given to us it is direct code in india that's the very first thing once we have found that now we can find the second part so this is my first part of the sum now second we need to find the indirect code so indirect code is equal to 1 upon direct code okay which is equal to 1 upon the direct code was 75.31 so i will divide that so we'll get that 1 divided by 75.31 so i get that value as 0.0132 okay so that is nothing but i can finally you know frame it as therefore 1 rupee is equal to 0.0133 gbp that's our final value okay again very simple let us try using the same rule for the second sum 1 usd is equal to rupees 48.30 again my first statement will be foreign currency is expressed in one unit now in my statement usd is one unit so here usd will be my foreign currency and rupee will become my domestic currency
okay therefore therefore since domestic currency is rupees therefore this quote we can say that it is direct quote in india now once i found that we can now easily find the indirect quote so indirect quote ka formula is 1 upon direct quote so here it will be 1 upon 48.30 so one divided by forty eight point three zero, we will get the value as zero point zero two zero seven. Okay, so I can say that if one rupee is equal to zero point zero two zero seven USD. Okay, in the exact same man manner, we can write. It's given that one USD equals to one point one six three zero Canadian dollars. Call us card. So again, we will apply the same rule. Number one, foreign currency is expressed in one unit. Okay, so here USD is in one unit, so that becomes a foreign currency. Canadian dollar will become the home currency. Therefore, I can say it is a direct quote in Canada. Therefore, the indirect quote. Is equal to one upon direct quote, so it will be one upon one point one six three zero. So that will be one divided by one point one six three zero. That will come to zero point eight five nine eight. Therefore, one Canadian dollar will be equal to zero point eight five nine eight USD. Okay, very simple. Again, the next one, the fourth one. Again, rule number one. Foreign currency is expressed in one unit. Therefore, it is a direct quote. In now, GBP is one unit, so. GBP becomes a foreign currency, so dollar or USD will become your domestic. So it is in direct quote in USA. Second, therefore, indirect quote will be one upon zero point six three nine. So one divided by point six three nine, the value that we get is one point five six four nine. Therefore, one. GBP, sorry, here we are finding the other way. So it will be one USD is equal to one point five four nine GBP. Okay, in the same way, the last one. So I guess all of you have got the you know the the hang of it. Okay, so now see the last one. Number one again, same way. Foreign currency is expressed in one unit. Therefore, it is a direct quote. And now here it is given rupees one twenty six point two six equal to one Omani rial. So, uh, Omani real is your foreign currency having unit one. So it will be a direct quote in India. So therefore, the second part, the indirect quote, is equal to one upon one twenty six point two six. So one divided by one twenty six point two six will give you zero point zero zero seven nine. So therefore. One rupee will be equal to zero point zero zero seven nine Omani rial. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve some where they asked you to find the inverse 
or, or they are asked to find which country may the the code is direct and also find the indirect code okay i hope everyone have understood that with that we will be ending this video thank you